Hi, today we're uh, going to continue on with uh, starting up the boiler. So we've got all our auxiliary systems on and uh, we've just launched our uh, boiler startup scenario. So um, if you're in the blue screens, uh, remember your home key to get out of them on your keyboard. Um, F1 will start your scenario. So I'll hit F1 and uh, we should be up and running. Uh, at this point, uh, what we have running or um, all set up is going to be our air compression systems as well as our electric power plants. I have a diesel generator running so I can um, run all of my more advanced systems and uh, you can see I've got all of my breakers set. So combustion air fans. Um, burner fuel oil supply pumps, uh, et cetera, et cetera, will uh, be up and running. All right, so let's go over to the boiler page. So boiler has two pages. Uh, page 80 uh, talks about the water and steam system. So we'll have to use this to adjust our water level inside of our boiler and then vents and main steam piping to our processes. Uh, as well, what we have is uh, page 83, which is our um, oil fired boiler combustion page. So this is where we send fuel in, uh, mix it with air, and create heat inside the boiler. Uh, okay, so let's uh, take a look at, first of all, before we start, we want to make sure that we have the ability to get water into the boiler, uh, and we want to check where our level is. So let's go back to page 80. Okay, so my pathway to get water uh, to the boiler starts at the feed water tank. I have some reservoir ready to go. Uh, it's going to go through a pump, going to go through a control valve, up through, around, and then into the boiler. If I look at my level right now, my level is at uh, negative 262.6. Uh, what that is telling me is uh, millimeters. As you can see down at the bottom here, it's millimeters. I'm 262 millimeters below my zero point or my desired point. So I could add in some more water. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually open up my valve. Uh, I don't know, 25%. You can see that's starting to open. If I hover over it, I can see I'm 5%, 13%. And I'm going to turn on my pump. Starting to get some flow, and you can see my level starting to go up. I'll open it up a bit more. It's going slower than I'm hoping, so uh, let's fill it up more. Uh, I got to be careful not to overfill it. Uh, this valve takes a long time to react when it closes. Um, so I'm going to start closing it off, say, around now to make sure that I give myself lots of time and opportunity to close it off. So down to 25%. Um, maybe down to 10%. And closed right off. So I think I did pretty well. Um, I manually closed the valve. Uh, I'm down to about zero. And uh, uh, what I'm gonna do is now, I'm gonna, now that I'm pretty close to zero, I'm gonna switch my level controller over to auto. Um, my pump is left on. And so when the boiler starts to demand water, uh, because the level starts to drop as I make steam or vent, uh, the pump will be automatically able to keep up the level. Okay, so let's go over to the combustion side. So over to page 83. Um, the pathway for fuel it comes in from the right-hand side, um, comes to this collection spot uh, where it can draw fuel into the burner or for a pilot. 
uh, and then it can recirculate through anything that it doesn't need. So we kind of have a recirculation loop and then I can extract off of there. Um, so the fuel that we're going to use is diesel oil, uh, the yellow system here. Uh, so it looks like it comes from uh, number three. So let's head on over there. So it comes out of the diesel oil service tank, which is this tank here. Uh, and so if I look for the pathway to the boiler, um, it comes off near the bottom of the tank and then it comes across. So I'll have to open up a valve here to get to the boiler. So off to the boiler. Uh, in order to get this system to work, I've got a fuel oil supply valve, uh, sorry, supply pump. And when I turn that on, you can see that I have some pressure developed and some flow. Right now, because the boiler isn't demanding anything, you can see that all of the excess flow, or 100% of it, gets recirculated back. Since it's going into the wrong direction here, uh, what I have is uh, I'm going to need to adjust that valve so that it recirculates back to my diesel oil tank. So I have a completed pathway right now. Um, you'll notice that I had an alarm that went off, which was the pressure here. Uh, basically, as soon as I turned on that pump a few seconds later, um, this boiler woke up. So it's realizing now that uh, I'm uh, going to try and start it. So I have a level here. Uh, my level is uh, pretty good. I've got water in the boiler. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to start my boiler. Uh, so a uh, couple things I want to do. I want to make sure that I have my pressure control in manual at this point and um, on low firing, so 0% output. Uh, I don't want it to have a high output while I'm warming it up. So 0% in manual. Uh, and then I'm going to come over and I'm going to tell my burner to start and stop. When I start it, it's going to go through a purge sequence where it blows through air to to get rid of any non-combustible gases inside the furnace so we don't have an explosion um, followed by the pilot main fuel um, and air supply coming on so you'll be able to watch that sequence so i'm going through my purge i'm blasting through a large quantity of air you can see over here my purge is on My airflow just got reduced, and now my fuel valves opened up, and I've started my main flame with the igniter on. I've now validated that my flame is functioning, and you can see that the temperature is starting to rise in the boiler. Uh, I'm going to take a moment here to pause and speed up time, and then I'm going to continue on with the video. So I have time sped up right now. You can see I'm up to about 80 degrees. Um, so I'm going to be up at the boiling point pretty soon. Uh, just to speed up time or change time, just for your information, F5 brings you to the page here and your speed ratio can adjust how fast the simulator goes. So uh, I have it back to one. Uh, you can see my clock is running at normal speed. If I speed that up, it goes uh, a little slower. Uh, so let me uh, backtrack to my boiler, and uh, you can see we're starting to build a bit of pressure in the boiler. Um, I'm starting to get up a, over 100 degrees. Um, my next sort of step that's going to happen is that I have a vent that's uh, open. Um, vents there to allow any uh, oxygen that's trapped or air that's trapped in the top of the boiler to be purged out so I'm replacing it with steam so while during the heating process uh, any air that's been dissolved into the water uh, or condensed into the water um, is able to be driven off so I have a, a, a process where any any oxygen and air inside of the system is going to get get driven off so I'm going to let that run for a bit, um, say bring my pressure up to about 1 bar or 15 PSI, uh, and that should probably be enough time and enough uh, uh, 
uh, enough volume of steam that's been displaced. Uh, you can see my levels starting to drop now that I'm making some steam. Uh, and I can just verify at this point that my pump is on, my level controller is in auto, and it should start to turn itself on or open up that valve a hair um, shortly. I'm just going to speed up time while we're doing that. So again, F5, and uh, I don't know, let's make it uh, five times at this point. So there you can see the level controller is now starting to adjust and it's going to try and maintain my level at zero. Looks like it's doing it. So we're getting up closer to one. Um, once my pressure gets up to that level, uh, I'm going to close off my vent and I'm going to allow the boiler to bring itself up to pressure. Pressure for this boiler is about six bar of pressure. So I want to be careful that I don't exceed it. If at any time my pressure starts rising, uh, I don't have any automatic controls to shut off the, the burner flame. Uh, so I have to be able to do that manually at this point. So I want to make sure that the one trouble spot that I would have is that if I get too high in pressure, uh, I want to shut off my burner right away. So we're almost there, and uh, pretty soon we'll turn off our vent. All right, so I'm going to turn off the vent. Uh, at this point, you might question, why don't I heat it up faster? Um, could have saved ourselves some time. Well, part of the idea of heating up the boiler is we want to do it slowly so all the metal has a chance to expand or contract at the same time. Uh, we don't want to warp, bend, or crack uh, any tubes. Um, so our safest way to start up a boiler is almost always going to be as slow as possible. Uh, sometimes we might even stop the burner, uh, let it sit for five or 10 minutes during the startup in order to allow it a bit of extra time to equalize. Um, see my pressure starting to rise. Um, eventually, when I get close to a pressure of six, I'm gonna switch it over to auto mode. I'm gonna speed up time while that process happens. So let's go up a little bit more. So I'll spit it up to uh, say 20 times. You can see over here in my burner operation box, uh, it says burner operation, burner is in auto. So uh, auto means that it's going to make decisions whether to turn on or off the burner. So if the pressure gets too high, it's going to turn itself off. If it's too low, it'll turn itself back on. Um, right now, my system is set up other than my auto controller for pressure. Uh, I'm going to turn it into auto. Uh, this is the sort of the safety piece so before you walk away from the boiler you want to make sure that it something is going to automatically turn it off you can see that i accidentally let the pressure go too high there um, and the burner just turned itself off on its own so that was an example of the safety device acting um, i'll turn my pressure controller now i'm around six into auto and uh, let's go send some steam to process. Uh, I'm just going to click through here uh, quickly, uh, but normally we would give ourselves some time in order for all the piping to warm up. Uh, so if we're sending fuel or steam to our service tanks, I've got a few pathways. 
You can see at this point, my pressure is stabilizing around six, my level is at zero, and I'm pretty happy. Okay, thanks.